Hey guys, this is my new rig for my AK setup. I wasn't gonna do a review on it because there's a lot of them out on, on YouTube already. But I wanted to uh, go out and test it and maybe uh, you know give you some pointers. As you can see, it's fully loaded. And the first thing I notice is it sticks out too much. It's too bulky. So you can forget about shooting on a prone with it. You won't be able to shoot from a prone, I doubt it. I mean, I could try later on today when I go test it, but I highly doubt it. It sits right on your stomach. And uh, it's got two additional pockets on each side. And I have uh, one magazine on each pocket. Cause this is gonna be my AK setup. And they're poking into my ribs. So, uh, so yeah, it's not the most comfortable uh, setup if you're gonna be using these two pockets, especially. Oh, and I'm not using the straps. It's almost pointless. As you can see, they don't even stay on it because the uh, angle of the AK magazines, the you won't, you won't hold them in place. Though they just fall right off. I mean, for magazine change. It'll be very convenient because they're right here, right in front of you. It's called the Condor Recon Chest Rig, but I wouldn't do a recon with it. I mean, I guess it'd be fine for planking and target practice and taking it to the range and stuff, but for a combat environment, I wouldn't. I don't think I'll. I don't think it'll be my best up, my first option. I think. I will stick to my AR setup for a combat environment or tactical training. It is a lot more ergonomic and uh, has a more practical use. So I'm gonna take it out to the range and uh, we'll see how it goes. I think I'm, I'm just gonna remove these two magazines there. They really are bothering me. I think those pockets. I don't think those pockets were meant for uh, magazines. They were probably meant for something else. I, I don't know what though. Anyhow, I'll see you guys in a little bit. So you can see, guys. Like I said, they stick out a little bit. So grabbing your magazines, though, they're right in front of you. That's very convenient. So I'm gonna test out my new magazines that I bought during a week of freedom. This is one of those Pro Max. The cheap ones and you can already see that it's struggles to go in so not the best magazine okay there it goes and look at how wobbly it is but let's see if it at least fires Fire. I mean, he shot all of them. It cycled through all 30 rounds just fine. This is the uh, the X Tech. A lot more solid on it. That one should work just fine too. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, this is the other uh, a Pro Mac. Look at how wobbly it is. And it, I have a hard time putting it in the magazine well. Uh, so that was just a quick look at my new magazines and my new setup for my AK. I didn't even try to shoot from the prone. I don't think it, it's possible because it sits right on your stomach. But one last thing that I wanted to mention is one of these Pro Max. Oh yeah, it's this one. No, it's not this one. It's this one. Won't even fit in my AK. It won't even go in. It's too thick on this and and maybe if I file it down or something but for now it won't fit. So yeah Pro Mac is a no-go however these uh, X they work just fine. They're great. They're great magazines. It's, it's nice and stable on there. And as far as the rig goes, it's an okay product, I guess. I pay like what did I pay like thirty five dollars on Amazon, so okay, for that price, uh, I'll keep it. And so, well, let me, let me show you guys the differences between. These magazines and the steel ones. Look at the differences. The uh, plastic ones are a lot thicker than the metal ones. I don't know if you can see it on camera though. Uh, so that's all I got for you guys. Thanks for watching.